Alrighty, I have a pretty action-packed construction update for you guys today from Action Theater to Moosehorn to Project 2025. We're going to talk about it all, and uh, yeah. Um, so all the footage, including this drone footage, was filmed on July 2nd, so yesterday it is fresh. Um, so as you can see on Moosehorn, they are what looks like really far behind. But again, I think we are in that stage. I know I said this before, but I didn't realize they had some extra plumbing work to do even outside of Moosehorn Falls. Um, but we are at that stage where they're going to lay down the concrete. I guarantee it. I, I like knock on wood, but I, I have a feeling when I fly today, the concrete slab is going to be poured um, for the aesthetics, the landscaping of the ride. The plumbing is almost all the way up to the tower, to the slide starting point, as you see it there, those white tubes going up the tower. It is almost all the way up. The water plumbing for the drop leading into the zero gravity wall is complete. Um, and yeah, they've been polishing and waxing the slide. So obviously getting ready um, to maybe test this thing or, you know, getting closer to an opening date. I still think we're about a week, still maybe another week or two away, depending. Because, again, they have to train. They have to certify the ride. TSSA has got to come in. There's things that have to happen before this slide can open to the public. All right. Over at Project 2025... Um, lots of footing work going on. So as you see there, they're digging a big hole. You'll see it better in person. Truthfully, um, in my personal opinion, the drone footage is a little useless. I, or it's not useless. It gives you a good eye, but I'm a bigger fan of filming in person. I'm able to see more. Whereas the drone, you know, I, okay, cool. There's a hole there. There's a hole there. Um, so yeah, definitely better views in person. So you'll be able to see that better, but they're digging out a hole there with that excavator. That is the station. It's a very small station. That's not the entire station yet, but it is almost the entire station. It is a very small station. Um, and the turn starts where that excavator is currently lifting and drilling right there. That's the turn that leads into the launch, by the way. So if you picture that the station's a very small plot of land. Nothing going on in extreme sky flyers, plot of land, outside of water, excavation. Um, again, they are not doing footings with the water excavation. I know someone commented on my previous video. That is not what's happening. They are removing sprinkler systems and electrical lines that are in the way of the coaster. Um, a lot more footings ready to go. I know when I go film today, there's going to be a lot more work to show you guys. Um, I... I exactly know what this company does now in terms of doing the footings they have a whole schedule um but yeah so here are some rebar cages that they cut that's kind of like their garbage pile and then um first thing in the morning they'll clean it up and start fresh so as you see there's the turn those little gates over the holes that's the turn leading into the launch out of the station um and they are currently digging out uh the basement area of this coaster so it's a very deep hole. That's where the basement, the logistics of the coaster are going to go. I know right now, looking at it, it's very hard to see. They had three sets of surveyors here, so surveying equipment, surveying that this is being done correctly. When you build these kind of projects, you don't want to make a mistake that you learn about later. This surveying equipment, um, that one that you just saw, is lasering off of some lasers and structures and all that and ensuring that the proper distances, depths, and all that are uh, taking place. That's the dumb way of explaining it. Nothing going on at Tunnel 1. Um, tunnel 3, nothing going on as of yet, uh, just that they cleaned it up. That's probably going to be the area they move to next. Um, it'll either be the brake run side of things or moving into the mountain. Um, but yeah, those are the footings for the launch. I believe that's the section where it's going to go up and then turn into the mountain and then drop into the mountain and actually do a proper launch. Um, but that is not known. Um, trying to think of what else, as you see there, there's some, um, water excavation going on as well or air. I can't quite tell. Um, but yeah, so that's that laser machine I was just telling you guys about. I'm trying to think if I'm missing any important details. Oh, let me throw something up on the screen for you. All right, so I've seen a lot of people complaining that this is going to be a really small gimmicky launch, and I just wanted to show you guys a reminder of how big of a plot of land that this coaster has to work with. The orange area that I have highlighted is the area that I know the coaster is going to utilize. Is it going to utilize every inch of that? No, of course not. 
but that's a very large plot of land. Another factor I wanted to um, tell you guys is a, a ride like Full Throttle has under 80 sequences of supports. Our coaster has about 169 sequences of supports, excluding the brake run and the station. Okay, so in total, it has probably about 190 to 200 sequences max of support columns. That's a lot compared to under 80 for full throttle. So keep that in mind. All right, over here at Action Theater, there is a lot of work going on. They were removing the ride's old electrical system, as you see right there. That was really cool to capture. So that is um, Action Theater's old kind of electrical panel with the thing. I I'm probably not describing it that well, but it's its circuit breaker. Um, and um, from what I gather, this is pure speculation. Um, they have laid down gravel to get some heavy equipment in there, and they are probably going to be building a haunted house. And I'll show you why. Well, I'll show you why after all this footage, just because I want to explain it in detail. So as you see here, they've cut a hole in the wall there. So you would normally exit out of the um, Spirit Manor haunted house out of this area. It looks like they're going to now guide you into that hole into a new haunted house. And if you look closely, there's actually another hole um, at the front of the Action Theater building. I don't know if I show it in this clip. I hope I do. Probably not. But there is a hole similar to Spirit Manor's entrance, but I'm assuming the exit um, just to, for flow, and I'll show you on a map in a second, um, on how I think the haunted house is going to work. So I think Action Theater is going to house two haunted houses now um, because, again, we don't know if we're losing um, the crypt in the... Um, I think it's called that. Yeah, the crypt in the bottom of the mountain. We don't know if we're losing that because of this ride or not yet. Um, based off of what I know so far, I don't see why we would need to lose it. So we might actually be gaining a maze here. Um, so this is what I think. Follow the arrows. There's The orange is the haunted houses and the white is the paths um, in between or entering and exiting. So it's a constant steady flow, if I had to predict, um, for two haunted houses. So that's really cool. Um, again, that is just a prediction. Um, it could end up being something completely different. They could be gutting the building for storage. Um, but I have a feeling, based off of the holes that I'm seeing, that it's a, a new haunted house. So that's really excited. Wonderland definitely needs some more haunted houses and some investments into haunt. I really liked what I saw last year, so I'm really excited as to what we're going to see this year and in 2025. Um, but yeah. I think that's everything. I think I've covered everything. I'm really excited for both Project 2025. Again, a lot of people are forgetting that Wonderland works on a lot of new projects, things we haven't seen before. Again, Yukon Striker was the first out-and-back dive coaster. Um, they were the first B&M Giga Dive. Um, sometimes when they try new things, it doesn't exactly work. Wonder Mountain's Guardian. But I have really high hopes for this project. It takes up a very large plot of land. It's got a lot of support sequences, which means it's a very large-scale, drawn-out ride. Um, and it's going to have two or three launches. So I'm really excited. Um, we'll definitely have to just wait and see what happens. Um, and I know that Wonderland's about to do a really in depth teasing campaign the best one we've seen at canada's wonderland so i'm really excited about that it's supposed to start very soon um so just buckle up um and let's wait and see because i think this is going to be one of canada's wonderland's most exciting projects anyways thanks so much for watching today's construction update stay tuned for tomorrow's and have a good one bye